Worlds. I, okay, so we haven't seen Ash much in these playoffs. I wonder if Ash is permaband versus T1. I think Rel is permaband against T1. Ash. Um, Mid is hard to ban because he'll play a zero Nico or Corky. But I think Rel, 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 Ash, Kalista is pretty safe. Bans against T1. Maokai ban is good against Peanuts. Sejuani ban is also good. Oriana ban, so Ori... Yeah, Oriana ban is also good against uh, Faker. He's, I think Ori, Rel, Kalista, Ash is probably like a must ban against T1. I don't know what else you can ban. The problem is they play so much shit. It's crazy. They're crazy if they don't ban Rel here. It's instant locked. They're going to first pick Lee Sin, actually. Oh my god. Are they first picking Lee Sin? They can't first pick Lee Sin now because they ban, Senna, uh, ban Tam. So there's Rel, Azir, Lee Sin, which is now super high prio. Nautilus is up. Kalista is up. Varus and Senna. Jesus, there's everything open. And they first pick TF. Why are they first picking TF? Yeah, everything's up. And they first pick TF? I think Doran can just play Jax into it. He's a, what? He's a Jax player. Then a North Classic. Wait, are they doing Zyra Rakan on 2-3 here? Are they fucking fried? No way, they, they must be doing something else. Jinx Thresh. Oh, Jinx Thresh, carry at Thresh. Oh, hell yeah. It's been a while since we've seen Carry at Thresh. Damn, bro. Carry at Thresh. They must be picking Jax on three here. Jax, Rel, Azir. Nah, Zekka wouldn't blind Azir here, I think. Oh, we are so back with Carry at Thresh. Oh, Zekka would blind Azir. Damn, Zekka changed, man. I would ban Corky 100% then. I would ban Corky. Fucking, what else would Faker play? I would say Nico, but I don't think he would play it. Zekka Azir. Zekka Azir is good. Zekka Azir is one of the one of the range champs he can play. Talia Corky. Yeah. Surely they're covering top here now, right? I'm kind of confused what's happening in this draft. It's really weird to ban three junglers and not first pick one. Yeah, they're covering off the TF a bit. Why are they not banning Jax? I feel like in EU, Jax would be picked into TF. The Lee Sin ban. Okay, now Rel must be banned, right? I'm crazy in my head. If there's triple jungle ban and Lee Sin's down. You are kidding me if Rel's not picked. Okay, there's the Jax ban, finally. Order in the universe is restored, because I don't understand what's going on if they're not banning Jax with TF. Surely it's Rel here. I know they can still count pick top and last pick jungle, but... What, are they going to play Sichuani last pick? Are they going to pick Aatrox here or something? Xin Zhao? Why do I feel like Elise is a really good champ here for T1? Elise Thresh is a classic with TF. I haven't heard that champ's name in years, but I feel like it could work. But I doubt they're going to do it. Yeah, there's Faker Skorky. Chocker. Kha'Zix is pretty good in this draft with TF against Sin Zhao Senna. But I think he'll probably play, I'm guessing, Rel, right? Sejuani is kind of shit. I'm cr Am I losing my mind out here? Yeah, okay, thank fuck. Rel's been picked. Jesus. Now I guess Rek'Sai last picked up, yeah. Faker is on a 24 game win streak on Corky, so this game's already uh, a wild one for T1. Hello there. Don't forget to subscribe before you watch this video, but thanks for watching before you've watched it. Faker Corky is on a 24 game win streak, I think. T1 fighting! Viper fighting. Hell yeah. Show me the co show me the I know exactly what LCK is gonna do. They're gonna bring up they're gonna bring up Faker Corky stats 100 percent It's gonna pull up on the bottom. Wait, Faker Corky lost to Gen G two weeks ago, did it? It didn't. You're lying. I knew it. Ayla Blades as here. So I think Tion off top push. Mid push should be in favor of the Azir. I think bots contested, but I think Jinx can always push early if she wants to with rockets, right? Actually, she can just rocket backline and just push. Ah, uh, Faker Classic. Press E and milk him for first strike. Oh, he's playing Halo Blades Scorch. Ah, uh, Zekka needs to win this lane then. Yeah, Zekka Azir is really good. Don't sleep on Zekka Azir. It's one of his mains. Wow, Senna Nolt is insanely strong, huh? Jinx Thresh is, uh, is a bit of an unconventional one. Uh, 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 don't gank mid. <laughs> Look at him running at them. <laughs> Just Valkyrie is way out. And Little Zekka's psychopath faker. Okay, so they first picked this TF. The one must think that Zeus TF is just. Oh, there it is. 22 game win streak. Last time he lost on Corky was 2020. Spring. Oh, he got it. And he gets the small ones. Plus 56. And plus 14. He just took, he just took so much. I mean, I think it's very obvious when they're playing. I guess the idea of Thresh is Thresh can play Lantern for Jinx and Jinx can push in waves. So that just basically means that Owner can play topside. 
Or they can just 2v2 kill them. Why is there zoomings on Carrier? What is he cooking? The owner's probably going to cover Zeus most of the time. This would be a lantern lane, but it just looks like a, they're stomping the lane. I'm waiting for the Carrier flash hook on that Senna cleanse timer. Senna CS. OME! So yeah, they're playing heavy topside here, T1, and Hamalife's trying to play around bot. I think Rex side needs to lose as little as possible. But then what's Hamalife's win condition? If top's losing in isolation and bot's losing and mid's even, how does the game go? Doran has fleet actually. Kind of smart, no chat? Doesn't go grasp this matchup. Grasp sacks are nice, but this matchup, fleet procs are impossible. Uh, grasp procs are impossible, sorry. And also fleet heals so much when you hit champion. So every time you W in, you can heal up so much. Mega good early game for T1. Zeus is uh, up 15 CS, just chilling. And a plate. They have, they're going to play. So I can see T1 strat already. They play heavy topside. The reason they didn't pick Rel early is probably because they wanted a really strong jungle matchup. Like Lee Sin into Rel if they blinded it, Hamalife would have been ideal. Because they want to stack grubbies and play topside. They're dropping drakes. They're just hard committing everything topside so that TF can get really far ahead. Oh, yes, Swiftness boots and fleet. You can't hit him. You actually won't be able to knock up TF anymore. Smart buy. TF can also base whenever he wants and just ult back or run back with Ghost and Swiftness boots. It's GG. They are playing. I mean, T1 is playing triple AD carry with one engage and one pick champ, though, so. Their game is not easy, especially so, so against far, champs like Zinzao uh, Nautilus. A bit annoying to play triple AD carry against that. One, yeah, I mean, Zeo's items are for survival, not for push. But yeah, like I said, slow game. I think owners playing for enemy raptor respawns, top crabs, and grubbies. Carrier needs to not die here. Carrier's maybe dead. Nope, they're waiting for Zinzao to walk up more. I'm surprised Nautilus didn't just go in there. They have ult. Uh, or not. He's waiting for Grub respawn. One minute, they're stacking top waves. They have TF ult, carry us here. Viper knows something's up. Oh my god, he failed it, didn't he? The smite, which is oh no, owner! I mean, Rel did like 1.4k damage on a 1.5k HP bar. But I push in top, Dora needs to base, but Zeus will be first out of the map because Dora has to catch. So I'm guessing owner is probably gonna do a blue grump and then straight to grubs. I'm guessing grubs are their win condition or what? I guess Rek'Sai is actually full HP again, never mind, doesn't even have to base. Here he goes, the, pressure on. the grubby contest, they have TF ult. But uh, yeah, I mean, how will I read them like a book? Yeah, how will I read him like a book? Their play was so, like, their, their grubby's play was so, I don't know what the word is. You could tell it was happening, you know? Predictable, telegraphed, yeah. So good read from Hamalife. Mm, he got package on spawn, but there's nothing to use the package for. So he has package, but Drake's in a minute. So that package is just going to fade for no play. Looks like they get two grubbies maybe though. Hamalife left some up. They were a bit scared of the Corky. They're going to go for the dive top first because they have tempo. Looks like Doran is... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if he's getting out of this. Oh, the TP maybe. How long can he live? Oh, he's going to live for a while. He's out. Yeah, they're lucky a zero is not up here, T1. Oh, maybe they can play the dive? Nah. Guma needs to get the hell out of there after this wave, I think. But Faker could TP bot. They could base TP bot here with Faker and then have uh, Jinx run mid to control the game. But it looks like they're just going to TP mid and run by bot. I think they should have uh, TP bot with Corky and had Jinx rush mid. Oh, Faker's dead. Otherwise, this happens. I think they made a mistake, T1. Whoa, rough early game. The TF gold is what's keeping them ahead, but it's a tough early game. Because they're going to lose Drake now for free. God, this champ is so annoying, isn't it? Well, Zeus is going to get uh, Rex ITP there. Is Owner going to play for the steal? He has, to, he has Lantern, I guess. Maybe they won't get it for free. <laughs> Yo, Rel is so busted. Is he out? Oh, he's out as well. Oh, the Lantern. 
I will say Rel smiting is really unfair. I don't. There's not a single champion in the game that can outsmite Rel. Maybe Nidalee with Q and Lich Bane Cougar proc on the spear passive. Maybe Nunu, but Rel just clears everything. What about Choketh? Shut up. Well, Zeus has a shutdown and so does Guma. They're both choving, so they have shutdowns on them, I guess. <laughs> Four. Senna has 46 stacks. 46 for Senna. Is the loser out? No, the loser is going to play against Damon. And then the loser of that is out. Well, this dive is a bit crazy by T1. I don't think they have the damage for this. I'm not really sure what the call here is from T1. That was really weird. They definitely had no way they could just... They tried to 100 a 0 a 0 with Rel Corky under tower at 50 minutes. Oh, what a flash from Zeka. And now Maybe Zeus. Coming on through, Zeus oh. will find the gold a new challenger a approaches. <laughs> Alright, it worked in the end. I mean, in the end, they'll still get bot tier so 1. And the play kind of worked, but it was a weird well, play. This game is so scattered. The enemy jungle support is pushing mid. To push well, I guess Nautilus is technically the AD carry, so it makes sense. Oh, they're overstaying bot. Oh, carrier. They don't even have the damage. They have the damage. Very close. One minute on the Drake. T1 can need to fight Certainly this Drake. They should have package in base. Faker isn't that strong yet, though. I wonder if he has more soon or sword shoes. I think Zeka has no TP. So let's see what Hamalife's call is. They have two options. One is play for gold. Two is fight for Drake. I think Drake fight is good for them because Jinx is on, isn't on her breakpoint yet and neither is TF. Like they, they haven't hit huge spikes, these scaling champs. So let's see. Rexa is going top with TP. Cork is going top. Baker should have package in base. Becca is going to push out bot. Yeah, there's going to be a fight around Drake for sure. He pushes this wave, groups mid, center bases, gets pinks, runs out mid. It's going to be an absolute fist fight. All right, here comes the big Drake fight. Carrier hook is going to be important. Chunk onto Doran is good. But Carrier is only level 8, so is Viper. Dunn hits Doran. Doran's getting chunked. Peanut can't outsmite Rel, so they kind of need the fight to happen. I'm not sure what Hamalife's doing. They just kind of stood there and watched them. Oh, a Faker. Whoa, Faker almost one shot Senna. Guma needs one reset and it's over. Oh, he tried to avoid it. Oh, they need all in Guma. It's a 3v4 though. T1 should still win. Uh, T1 team fighting classic or what? Ah, T1, lose early game, lose towers, die here and there. Team fight, game's over. So Peanut gets hooked. That's Carrier's first hook. He lanterns Nolta Zult. Then Carrier hooks. The flash of Zinzao. Carrier played this fight really well. Area played this fight like really well. Lackluster package. Why? He almost one shot Senna by himself. Like, that's not really what you're I mean, Zeus is absolutely see. through the roof right now. Uh, right. This bot tier 2 will die soon. This top tier 1 can die soon. Very easy for T1. Especially with 5 grubbies. The faker. His wave's here. And he's playing up there. Kind of odd, no? Faker is just leaving top wave. He's making sure he holds the control before he pushes out. It's fine. Once they see Rek'Sai grouped, Zeus is going to spam push. I mean, this bot tier 2 will die here. So it's a question of, is Hamalife starting Nash here with this setup? This setup's really weird for Hamalife. Nope, they're going to run all the way back bot with Rek'Sai. They can't collapse on Zeus. That tower's dead and he's going to ult out. Wow, there it is. Bot tier 2. Now I think Zeus can group mid and they can hover top, but Jinx is basing for IE, but this top tier 1 should die soon as well. So he has a lot of standing gold to get them at a 4k gold lead. And Hamalife doesn't really have any options. They can't take this. They're keeping top and Nautilus. He's trying to make a pick on Faker. Nah, he might be dead here. Oh, and Nautilus all didn't go off. He saw him. They also had Lantern as well, like, actually. So, easy clap. They have to force, I think, yeah. Hamalife don't have a choice. They're, they don't have any side lanes. They can't push any sides. Have to force Baron. They have no choice. They have to force a fight. At the moment, it is three. Hook going to connect. As Owner's Magnus Storm is fantastic, he's lasting for so incredibly long. And Owner's dead. His way out as well, but still, Doran able to lock oh, what a hook. Is now in the front line. This is dangerous, but the Bro, Karia's hooks are out of this control right now. I mean, Hamalife don't have a choice. They have to keep forcing. They're bleeding sides way too much. And they lost their dragon wing condition. They have to force Nash. Otherwise, top tier one's going to die. Dave's going to push bot all the way. Then they get a threat of mid tier two with Jinx Thresh. They just have to start Baron and hook whoever walks up. I mean, dragon's up. I wonder what's happening like right now in life. Is T1 getting a free Drake? Nope, Hamalife's fighting it. Surprised the they're not trying to go for a Baron force here instead again. 
Baker went short in second. Is he basing for package? Yeah, he is. Yeah, Hamalife are bleeding, man. It's really hard for them. They have to give Drake, but I think they should move towards Baron again. I think they should all be moving towards Baron. Yeah, here we go. This is exactly what Hamalife should be doing. They should be trying to sneak Nash, start Baron. Anything along those lines. Make them, make them sweat a bit. They don't really have any other choice. They can't really force because of Tiefeld. As soon as Tiefeld comes out, they're like caught, you know? <laughs> so they kind of have to force with them knowing they can't sneak. Like they might Tiefeld here in a second TF, uh, T1 because what's happening is Kerry has one ward left and they have no pinks. So after this mid wave, there's a chance that Zeus has to Tiefeld them on Baron area. So Hamalife can force that out. Yeah, TF's gonna ult here soon. They're losing too much vision here, T1. Here comes a TF ult. Ready? Here it comes, ready? Ready for the court emote? There it is, <laughs> court. <laughs> so now Hamalife has to turn with hook because they can't 50 50 it. And here comes the fight. This is the game decider. Kuma's dead. The lights down too. Owners down. Hamalife. Hamalife played it really well. Oh, Zeka. Hamalife won. Maybe? Wait, Faker somehow killed Viper. Wait, what? Oh, Doran has tunnels. They should go Baron now. Hamalife played that sequence so well. They played around Vision so, so, so good. You could see they were playing around. Oh my god, that was so well played by Hamalife. What a good setup. The last minute of play was so good by Hamalife. I mean, what can Gumayushi do? Flash, knock up, knock up, knock up, knock up, dead. There's nothing you can do there. Uh, nothing Guma can do there. Maybe flash? Okay, you tell me where Guma should flash. Let's see. Flash the Nautilus ult that's ticking on him. Ah. Nautilus ult on him. Knock up, knock up, knock up, knock up. Stunned. Pulled. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> like, what do you want him to do? If he even flashes back at the exact second of Nautilus ult, he's still gonna get chased down. I mean, he, there's an argument like where he could just space the Nautilus ult range, but then he's not hitting. And they have Zinza already, so what is that? They don't have damage. Maybe he should play without flash chat. Maybe he should play barrier heal. And he should build Warmox, and then he just tanks it. Should have built Mercs. Oh, yeah, shit. Well, Tion have Soul in 120. It's not over yet. And Guma has thumbs up. They don't have Rek'Sai flash, Zinza flash. Azir flash. But his next dragon fight's not bad for T1. Hamalife don't have the gap close anymore to get on top of Jinx. Malignant's Corky, yeah, he'll probably buy it now. He'll probably buy Malignant's or, or more. He's getting package as well, I think, because it's dragon fight. Nope, he doesn't have package, never mind. I guess it's on cooldown. I mean, T1 can always cheat vision. The reason they have double AD carry, they have triple AD carry, right? And triple AD carry is really bad at getting vision, like retaking. But they have TF, right? So they can cheat it with ult. What is Zeus buying here? Does he have Kraken? Zeus just bought a full Kraken. Baker wants package, but he's not in time. There's a TF ult to cheat vision. Ah, oh, Dragon's gone. Unless Owner can just get in there. No, it's gone. Front to back's not bad on Nautilus, but since is the problem. And out of there. Super Mega Death Rocket this time not going to work out as the tunnel out from Doran. Oh, is Faker's being really crazy health. there with the W. T1 has so much range. They have Corky, Jinx, TF, Rapid Fire, and they have Lantern. So they can play range really well. Oh, Zeus Bishing is pretty good here. If they were to walk up, he has a stun in. Oh, he has cleanse. Okay, now. That might look weird. But I wonder if he did that on purpose, because he obviously knew Senna has cleanse, he's not stupid. I wonder if he's trying to force cleanse before Baron. Is there, let's see, like, don't judge it yet, let's see the next two minutes of play, and let's see if, like, that cleanse gets punished somehow, because I don't expect Zeus to do something stupid like that. I would say this about anyone, I don't think any pro player is that stupid to just flash on someone with cleanse, unless they're doing it intentionally before Baron, because they have some kind of play in mind. Maybe like Relf Q flash or something? Or the next TF ult, he can solo kill Senna. I don't know. T1's Baron is insanely quick. Hamalife cannot drop control. Maybe six, seven seconds, that Baron is dead. Okay, I'm looking at that Senna cleanse timer. I'm looking at this Baron spawn. They are going to one-shot Baron. I would say six, seven seconds max. Corky's not there, so a bit slower, but... Uh, if, if Corky was there, it would almost be dead already. No flash saves. He lives, though. Rexile kills him. So in the end, it wasn't worth it. That package is huge, though. Jesus. The pack, the the flash wasn't worth it in the end. Then Zeus ran it. Wow, Faker did so much in that fight. The 80 carries were way too vulnerable. Wow, the 20 22 game win streak on Corky comes to an end. Is it over? Yeah, it is over, right?
Oh my God. Owner can maybe stall a bit. Of this game, but still, Is it over? Hamalak 10 seconds on Zeus. On the front door of T1. These death maybe open Nexus. Exactly they can save the longest, it. But the Nexus turrets are going down. Still owner standing his ground trying to take control. They'll take both Yeah, Fultz can be big here. Baker has TP too. He didn't buy a ward though because his inventory is full. So where does Faker TP? Maybe that's ward up here. Yeah. They need to chase him down to infinity. Rapid fire cannon. Wait, if I know T1 well enough. Nah, there's no way they go for the end. Nah, they're gonna play for Baron. What am I saying? I had a feeling T1 might just rush it down for the end. Wait, they're gonna get Nash and Soul from that. Look at Zeka though, look at Zeka. Look at Zeka. Oh, Carrier marked him. Zeus flashed on purpose to make them go on Zeus so he dies. So they try to end through mid, they lose. They lose Nexus Towers, but then Zeus respawns and kills them, so then they get Nash and uh, Soul. That was kind of smart by Zeus. Now, my my client pleads not guilty, okay? And you can see the evidence on your screen now. No, okay. How will I have decent backdoor? Because they have Rek'Sai as here, right? So what Rek'Sai can do... Is she can fish for a backdoor and then she can E and then Azir can TP on her tunnel. So it's actually kind of crazy what the what kind of backdoor they can cook up. So it's really annoying. I'm alive, just running it down to end. Wow, I'm alive, have so much confidence. They just ran at them. I'm gonna be honest, that Xin Zhao pick was crazy good. Xin Zhao against Triple AD carry stole so much in fights. Okay, my client has been found guilty for negative gaming. But that Xin Zhao pick did work, big work. Okay, are they really gonna triple jungle ban again? I mean, I think Orianna Ash uh, is really or already good at covering off a lot of T1. Crazy that Maokai Vi. And this or was what was it, Sedge or something else was banned? I don't know. Was uh, and they went for... Wow, they, they prioritized Jinx that highly. Well, they're first picking the center. And if they take Nautilus, what are you playing? If they do like Nautilus Zeri, Nautilus Rel, Nautilus Azir, Nautilus Sejuani. What do you play, Braum? Senna Braum is mega good here, but... I think AD carry Senna is pretty shit now, no? There's a TF again. Senna Nila. Yeah, but playing Senna Nila into Nautilus, I don't know if I like that. Maybe they just pick Azir and drop AD to 4-5. Or they pick jungle and drop AD. Why they would pick AD here? Unless they really want Nila. Nico Flex is good as well. Lee Sin for owner. Lee Sin into Sejuani isn't that good. But, uh, alright, there's the Zeri, there's the Zeri Nalt. Are they gonna ban Talia Azir? Because they have a really good Yone game. Rek'Sai Jax must be banned here by T1. There's no way they ban Jace. I think it's just Azir and then and then Jax ban and then they pick Jace on 4 maybe? Orn! Oh, they're trying to stop Senna Orn bot. Ah, oh, I see. Are they gonna play Senna? Oh my god, what are they play with the Senna lane? I think it is Senna Braum. Otherwise, you're playing something like Senna Caitlyn. And then what? Oh, nice Yone ban by T1. But Jax is open. Maybe they're going to play Rumble Jace or something. Or... Uh, what can you play here? Uh, Ari... No, Ari's not that good. Silas is really good for T1 right now, though. Ooh, Kassanin's not bad here. I'm still waiting to see what the Senna's going with. Oh, it's Senna TF bot. It's Senna TF bot. It's Senna Sion! No way. Wait, it's Sion, Sion TF double flex for bot top. I mean, I think blinding Aatrox here is the best. Or Jax. He's basically blinding top into TF Sion. Yeah, Jax is good. What is it? It's Senna Sion bot. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, T1. This draft looks a bit weird. This draft looks a little bit weird. Uh, I don't know if I like this from T1. Carrier playing Sion, Guma on Senna, and then... I mean, Guma Senna's good, but... Uh, I about this comp feels weird. Alright, Senna Sion bot. Let's see what we got. I mean, top is like... 
winning early, but top if fall behind, then like the game is lost through top. This matchup can be really dangerous. But I guess Sion can farm pretty easily in this lane, which is good. Ooh, Guma's on a 17 game win streak on Senna. Wait, he's never lost internationally or domestically on Senna. Wait, these are these are not good luck charms. First Faker Scorky, now Guma Senna. Wait, hold up. Owner three camps into invade. Oh, what a reaction by Peanut. Nice reaction by Peanut. Oh, it's a horror for Peanut right now. Oh, it's a mega horror. He doesn't have a ward either. He went sweeper. I think is is Peanut sprinting to enemy blue? Oh my God, Faker movement, Jesus. Nice base timer. Oh, Zeus is gonna stay for the cannon as well then. Plus ones all around. Hey, we take that. Yeah, slow game again. I mean, Corky Senna. A zero zero. Zeus is winning early top, but we'll see if Peanut wants to start Drake. The problem is Peanut can't do Drake. I think he's too far behind. His bot lane's coming out of base though. That's why I'm thinking maybe they can do it. Oh no, going to Grubs. I think they had a dragon angle maybe, but he's in that bush still. No, he's not. He missed it. How the fuck did Leeson get there? Uh, how the fuck did Nautilus get there? How did Nautilus get there? He wrapped around as Leeson ran. Uh oh, Zeus. Uh oh. Ults out later. Oh! Doran just stopped him. And now Fager TP's in to save. Or a carry, actually. Jesus, I forgot they're playing fucking TP bot. Sion just pops out of nowhere. Just pops out of nowhere, like, hello there. I guess it's actually a fine TP situation for Carrier, right? That bot wave was massive when it crashed. That was massive. I feel like Owner could have lived that, though. If Owner was faster, I think he would live. Like, if he insta flashes, I think he's out. Like, here, more jump flash. I think he's out of range of Sedge passive, maybe. But yeah, it's hard to know that. Doran had flash. Yeah, he gets stunned by Jax, but I don't think he would get stunned by uh, Sejuani. I don't know. Maybe they, he would get triple flash then. I don't know. Do they have a top dive? He's getting... Oh, he's hitting six off the ground. Now Zayas is potentially in trouble. Finds a gold card onto Peanut, who will throw out the ulti. Oh my god, Peanut's kind of inting. Oh my god, they ran the top dive. He's gonna kill both. Oh, he killed him midair. Oh my god, Zeus. What? That was mega close. That was a huge swing then for T1. Man, the stun from Zeus as Peanut was about to take aggro was crazy good. Yeah. Well played. T1 are convinced TF top is still OP. They're also convinced Jinx is OP. Their their prios are kind of odd. Owner. Oh my god, that was clean. Yoink. Nice flash by Zega. I'm alive, wins this. Man, T1. It is so easy Do they lack damage? I... They definitely lack damage right now. Felt like no one was dying there. I mean, I think that four or five items, they'll be okay, but this stun on Peanut was so good. And he flashed the Jax E. Oh my god, he played it really well, actually. Because in this fight, no one's dying. Aftershock said you want, he just stood there. He procs it now, and he just kind of stands there. Oh, maybe a double stun. Nautilus all triple knock up. Baker TPs to save the boy. Zeus TP is behind them. He has package. Right oh my god, this could be really scuffed for T1, but it could be insanely good. Oh, Zeus died. Oh no, no, here comes Zeka. I can't, he can't, he can't, he can't. Man, T1 just don't stop forcing. I think this top matchup's getting to a point where Jax is like fine, you know? He doesn't have any issues in this lane. Can Viper. I don't know, Viper's free farming, uh, Sion, top matchup is fine you know, again. Oy, oy, oy. It's a weird game, isn't it? It's like you're playing TF, Corky, Senna, Triple AD, Carry again, you kind of want to scale. But they have Jax, Azir, Zeri, so what are you scaling into? What are you scaling into? So then you try to force with globals and package, and then you still have the damage to execute? It's like... Uh, T1, whatever they've been practicing in scrims is maybe fake data, let's see. Like, Kuma laning top is okay for, for souls, but obviously the light's here. I think the play is off here. But uh, the play is not off, apparently. They have no damage to kill anyone. I will say, so far, the light is my champ. Like, that guy is smurfing the map. He is smurfing the whole map. 
There's a 3k gold lead, Zeri to Senna. Senna's also level 6. I don't know how many souls Senna has, but I don't think it matters. Yeah, the winner's out. This is going to be Viper just coming in here. Look at all in. He's going to get silent. That's one way to one shot the wave and force silence. It's a weird dragon spawn timer. Dragon spawning same time as Herald. And those lined up timers are really good for the team that's behind. The T1 could look to just trade. They won't have package. What is Zeri ult cooldown? Seventy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, owner is on vision. Remember, as oh, Zeka. Yeah. Well, well there goes Drake the or Herald, whichever one they want first. The and top matchups, like I think it's actually fine, but they're gonna all collapse top. Well. They, can't they can't cross map anything. They can't cross map anything, and they can't get Herald. I think T1 need to. Well, we'll see. Let's see how this game goes. This fight will be pretty important. Zeka has TP, but isn't able. Carrier has no TP. So T1 are at a number disadvantage on that Herald force because Carrier has a TP back bot to catch the wave before Drake spawns. So he can't join. I think T1 just need to stop playing top sides, and they're drafting all top side play for top get top ahead let's draft top side top side invade top side force i think all that happens if you just top side force is the game turned into a 4v4 because supports will roam and senna obviously can't roam as much as nautilus right that's the problem you're letting scion free farm berseri and senna can't force fights so I think T1 has need to change their style. Where is the Kalista Varus? Kalista Varus play bot side. They use just pick Cassante or some shit. I think T1 has need to go back to that next game. Even if they win this game. They're playing top side so hard, he's kicking him away from jungle camps. <laughs> Here it comes. Guma's dead. There's ulting out. He was looking for Viper, but... That is, Jax is in a great spot. I think Jax probably beats TF. The only problem is Ghost, right? It will disengage the fight. The life tries to blind hook where TF is. <laughs> Respect. I mean, the problem is, the reason Zeri can rotate so quick is she has Renan's, right? She just two shots the wave and runs wherever the fuck she wants. Oh. King. Good TP match. Oh my god, Carrier! Oh god, Carrier, that's gotta be the most disgusting thing I've ever seen you do. Faker's dead as well. Oh my god, what is T1 doing? Guma's dead, maybe? No. Oh! Oh my god, Carrier. Please just go Kalista, fuck Kalista North, Kalista Rel, Kalista Renata. Varus North, please, man. T1 need to change this shit. Playing top side ain't working. This, I think T1 is purposely losing to HLE so they don't have to play against Genji. Ah, yes. Purposely lose to Genji. They're already playing against them. What do you mean they're avoiding Gen G by losing to Hummelife? They're already against Gen G right now. Bro, if Hummelife 3 0s T1, Hummelife probably beats Gen G as well. Because that one almost beats Gen G. But that one clears everyone. That one's mega scaling this whole playoffs. Taking everyone to five games, bro. They're just getting practice time. Alright, TF ult, where is it? Boy, Zeus. Ooh! Was nice, but they can't follow it. Oh, Zekka's in thing. Zekka thinks he's fucking Faker or what? Zekka just lost the fight for his team. Does T1 force Nash? No way. Oh, yo, 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 They have Zerial. This is gonna be a mess. Oh, they have no Jax TP, though. Viper, how hard do you want to send it? Why? What? The light just entered it. He's gonna die, Peanut. Peanut, the Baron, Peanut. Oh, clean. Viper didn't go in. Okay, big Baron. They just pulled it off. All right. T1 a bit back now. Classic Baron by T1. I mean, as much as I would say T1 classic, <laughs> Zekka was kind of hinting that. The like, this fight's over. Like, uh, Hamalife runs away and they base. But no, Zekka says, I'm making a play. <laughs> Maybe Viper could have wrapped around with his team a bit more. I feel like Viper played cameraman this fucking fight.
Don't look sure at Zeri uh, items, chat. Whatever you do, do not look at Zeri's items at 23 minutes into the game. The Just close your eyes if you're a T1 fan, did, or put some sellotape on the score. Oh my god. Jesus. That Zeri's gonna one-shot everyone on T1. They have no frontline other than Zion, but he can just jump past the Zion. Drake in 20. T1's Baron is just to stabilize the game. They can't really take much of it. Mid tower is low, but. Oh. Nice engage by T1. No flash on Zeka. They also use Zerial there. Dora and TP's top to push. Faker matches with TP. Oh, Doran. Oh, Doran. Doran just got their TP Corky flash. That was really good by Doran. And Senna. Senna Souls, yeah, I'll, I'll say when I see it. I'm waiting for them to click on Senna. And Peanut's really trying to stop these bases, but to what? What are they getting out of it? I guess they can get some V vision, but doesn't matter too much. Game is dead even, chat. I don't think either side. Oh my god, Zeri just bought BF Crit Cloak? What the hell? Is your level 14? Oh my god, this game is close, man. Faker is strong. I wonder how much gold Zeka is sitting on. What is Zeka buying? Is he buying Zonius? Baker versus Viper. Baker well, so far, you know, owner's got a kick that, that could decide a lot as well. Took him a bit like, it's ball. very hard to coordinate, but kicking the Scion Q could work somehow. If it lands, it's a miracle. There's not much to play for. They can try and hover for this top tier 2 and try and catch who gets the wave, but... I mean, owner could stay here as well. Uh-oh, Guma's dead. Guma caught. Well, Hamalife are going to insta start that Baron. I mean, they have TF ult and then Owner smites, but I don't think Owner can steal this. Looks really hard. Jax can just run at him. Azir can run at him. They have Nautilus. Baker is going to go for it, though. They're going to go for it. They're going to go for it. They're scared. Hamalife's scared. Wow, I thought they were just full send it. From the Baron. Then that's coming. T1 to need to do it then, I guess. I don't know what happens here. Carry a face check. Oh, wait. Carry a spellbook smite. I wonder if they saw carry a spellbook and they thought that they had double smite. Now T1 have double smites for the force. Q doesn't hit. They have double smite T1. It's, it's guaranteed. But they don't have damage for it. Baker? You're just trying to trunk the Sejuani? He can bend the wall here. Oh my god. Viper time. Yeah, they don't have damage here, T1. Faker's down. Viper kills everyone. Did you want to back up? Yeah, this game is done, I think. Oh, Zeka. Hamalife's gonna get Nash, they get Drake. Carrier's dead. He's kind of stuck. He has Smite. He's trying to steal it. But uh, yeah, he's way too far away to steal it. He just smite the minion. He could try an ult here if he wants. Okay. <laughs> oh, he was recalling on a ward, Guma. Oh, no. Why are you sad? I'm not sad. I just don't know why T1 has changed their playstyle coming into playoffs. Why are they playing so heavy topside and first picking TF? This is horrible. Why can't they just play their normal style? I wanted, like... I want a T1 in form. This isn't T1 in form. This is T1 thinking TFSOP and playing topside for some reason. Why are they doing that? I mean, next game they're going to change up the plan for sure, but. And we'll get an actual, like, T1 game next game, but. The light is just carrying the whole game. In my opinion, at least. Like, how can you play topside with Jax into TF when enemy has Nautilus into Senna and you're playing 4v4 topside all game? Nautilus clears. But I do think. This Tam Kenshpan from Hamalife was crazy good. Red side Tam Kenshpan forced him because the way it works is Senna North is OP, right? So what they do on red side is they last ban Tam Kench. So what do you do? Do you first pick Senna 
I mean, T1, or do you take, or do you drop Senna and give them Senna Nolt? Because you, you can't get Senna Nolt, because as soon as you pick Senna, they take Nolt. So blue side's kind of hindered by this Tom Kenchpan so hard, and now you're forced into Senna Sion. To be honest, I think what they should have done is Senna first pick, they go Nautilus, um, Sejuani. They should have just gone, like, TF Orn, and double flexed, and then maybe that's winnable. Drop mid in jungle, or, or, or in jungle. I mean, what you could do as well is first pick Nautilus. That would have been even better, I think, actually. Oh! Yeah, T1 have no damage. Yeah, that flash will just trash, but... It is what it is. The game's lost anyway. Is the game winnable? No. The game is over. If you want to know how over the game is, you look at Seri items and you look at Senna game state. Seri is level 17 with 6 items and a GA. Senna is 2 items with a longsword level 13. The, if the you want, he's about to really hit level 18 this area. So that's what their main focus is gonna be. Like Viper is Six absolutely Viper. off the fucking yeah, rails, man. On the map. His mid laner uh, barely has four. Is going to come on through, but there he has like three and a half. And this game is completely gone. Unless Viper DCs in a fight. Compared to Sion, it doesn't matter. Sion doesn't do anything this game. Sion is their only frontline that just dies. The Senna needs high souls, but I think she doesn't have high souls. I'm trying to wait for them to click on Senna and I can tell you if she's strong or not, but I don't think she has that much souls if she's 0 3 4. What is Zeus doing? Is he protesting or what? What the hell is Zeus doing? Looks for the opportunity, Empress Divide avoided, but he can't avoid the prison. And now Faker has to flash away. He does manage to take down the Jack. The extended beam avoided as well. That movement was crazy good. That movement was insane. He's out. What? Faker lives? Doesn't manage to teleport out. Faker lives. Doesn't manage to teleport out. He actually got out there. That was crazy. That he lived. Wow, Faker just kept him in the game by killing the Jacks and getting out. That is bonkers that he dodged that Zeri W and actually lived. What a monster. But what is Zeus doing here? Let's force with package on mid because they're going towards Drake. It's probably what he said, I guess. I don't know. I mean, if they killed the Nautilus, if you think about it, it would have been two for three. Which isn't too bad when you're losing. Uma just tanked the whole tower. But Viper didn't even get, like, touched or lose his GA. He lost his flash, but all of T1 lost their flash apart from Sion. So I think Viper just cleans everyone. I'm waiting for them to start Baron. Why isn't Hamalife just going to force Nash? If this game goes another 30 minutes, T1 will win. <laughs> yeah, if I was better with my mouse and keyboard, I'd be the best player in the world. And this is checkmate. Yeah, well, there's the control ward. It goes down. Zeus is gonna get knocked up, and there is nothing. I'm telling you, chat. Zeus beating the shy in the world finals. He has a piece of the shy, like his his gameplay in his head now. It's locked in. He is the next the shy. The baton was passed on. Still bearing down on the base, and now Doran goes in. He finds the counter strike onto Zeus. Oh, Zeka. Zeka, Zeka, Zeka. Alright, T1 need to stop this. Stop this topside play, T1. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it! Stop it. Is Aatrox bad right now? Actually, Aatrox fell off a bit in pick priority. I don't know why. But teams have stopped playing Aatrox as much. Alright, T1, change it up. Change it all up now. Give me a good game. If you fucking pick TF again, I swear on Grump, I'm done. Maokai ban is fine. Senna ban? Okay. Are we first picking Varus or Kalista? What are we doing? Nico ban. Oh, we're back! We're back, baby! We're so back. Yeah, Talia is a good pick here. Are they gonna pick Nautilus? Delight's Nautilus has been insane. No, I take the Talia. It's good. Now, do you blind Braum uh, Nautilus or do you just go Renata into Nautilus? Do you, do you play Renata into Nautilus or do you play Nautilus into Braum? Or do you just drop it and play Lee Sin here? Don't pick TF. Whatever you do, you can't pick Lee Sin here. Actually, it's impossible. He's not picking Nidalee. Ooh, Kalista Rumble. I like that a lot. Kalista Rumble and Azir or something. Lissandra blind. Well, it's actually into Talia. What am I saying? Blind. Am I high? T1 went back to OP champs. Alright. Finally, we get a game. If if Hamalife win this game, then respect. But at least we're not getting a topside play game anymore. There's the Nautilus. They should ban... Br I don't know. Do you ban Brown with Kalista? Mm. Maybe Rel bans good. They need any engage needs to be banned here. Any engage. Jarvan, Rel maybe. 
They banned Azir. What? They're playing Kalista Rumble. Why would they? Wait, wait, hey? Where's my Jarvan Bennett? Where's my Jarvan Relben? What the hell? It's not Guma Yushi Rumble. Shut up. Bro. Man, they really are still scared of TF. It's so sad that you stopped watching LPL. You were kind of known for LPL. What do you mean? I've been watching LCK since day one. And also, they're on at the same time. What do you want me to do? Oh, Jax jungling into Zin. Wait, this, this draft from T1's crazy good. What? No, Gwen doesn't work here. Ooh, I don't know if I like Ari, but at least T1 have a lot of scrapping that they can do in this draft. All right, T1 can fight a lot now. About time. What are you thinking, Doran? Aatrox? Gragas? What are you thinking? Don't go Cassante. Don't be boring. Don't be boring. Oh, yeah, Aatrox. This draft from T1. Not. I don't want to sound like a glazer, but that's my kind of draft. Kalista Rumble Rek'Sai. Holy fucker. Go in. I love, I love drafts that have really good skirmish, mega hard engage, or early mid-game spikes. I hate comps with low engage, range, poke, scaling. I fucking hate that shit. Just draft, just draft early mid-game champs and punish the shit out of them. Two set. P1 fighting. I'm alive fighting. Hell yeah. All right, this draft much better, much more T1. All right, they have a top lane matchup which is nullified. They have a jungle matchup which wins one v one. Mid is a bit annoying. I think Talia into Ari is kind of annoying and a bit hard, unless Jax can maybe visit a bit early and force Talia back a bit. And bot is a frying session for T1. They have Halo Blades, Kalista with Rumble. Every time you say T1 or Damon fighting, they lose. Well, I said T1 and Hamalai fighting this time, so who's going to lose now? You can't both lose, right? 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 After the series, we're going to watch Milky Way in his playoffs elimination series. That's correct. FPX, baby. There we go. Gotta land those, gotta land those Arpoons. The light W starts based. Guma is so cocky. This motherfucker is playing against Varus Nautilus, and he's playing heal what uh, owner three camps into bot invade hell yeah the pace is back baby he's a psychopath is what he is absolute psychopath is it worth it uh well it puts him behind on his clear but i mean he got first blood so yeah it's worth it fuck it I think it's worth it. If I was Jax, I would say worth it. Oh, he's coming back for round two or what? Oh, Viper got a base off and bought a tier. I'm not... I'm not a lawyer! Okay, Sintar gets top grab. Why do people write XDD business? I'm on the case. Yo, shut up. I just like to explain why people do things and this happens to be t1 playing but well, the beauty of this top matchup chat is that first base they both buy steel caps t1 winning bot side perfect but there's a zindal behind you and nautilus is gonna flash hook you and he's gonna miss and he's gonna die <laughs> yo kalista rumble <laughs> Oh, he has two tunnels. One for going in, one for going out. Ah, oh, fuck, they both popped at the same time. And that sounded like a balloon. Oh, he went uh, Bramble first item against Aatrox. Hmm. From my experience in playing a lot of Aatrox, Bramble is not that big of a deal. Because you just never auto him until your end of your combo. You just play your spells. It's annoying, though, that's for sure. You can't. Yeah, it stops the Aatrox from being able to weave in autos between his combo area. early. Because later on he doesn't also weave in autos as much, but early on he weaves in autos. Anyway. Later on it's just uh, fucking really Q hits, Hydras, and passives. But I'm Spot sure Zeus knows what he's doing. Here comes a bot dive. Maybe Kalista. No, she doesn't get six on the wave, so maybe not. Owner needs to be a little bit careful. Oh, no flash on Rumble. But the light's a bit too far. Oh, he hooked the minion. Oh, that Rumble ult was mega good. Oh, Zeka. He's dead as fuck. Oh my god, it's a four man dive versus a four man. Carry out overheated by it. Oh my god, he didn't press Q. Oh, he went back inside as well. Oh my god, Carrier just entered. Oh, Carrier mechanics in that fight were a bit sketchy. I think Carrier mismanages heat here, right here. Watch this, ready? He just walks up with E. Maybe he didn't actually. He just wants to get. But the Kalista ult back in was definitely troll. 
Okay, okay, the, the overheat wasn't too bad, but the, the, the Kalista ult was definitely in it. Wow, this game looks much healthier for T1. We're not fucking diving top every five minutes and praying that it works. But he overheats without Qs ever. Oh, Kuma's kind of ending. Oh, Kuma! Delight is trying to grab one back. We'll and they're TPing the behind them. Oh, T1. What is Seca walling? Well oh, he's trying to wall to be behind them. The and he missed W. Oh, hell nah, bro. What is Seca doing? They can turn this with fake rule. Maybe if he has a uh, nice charm. Still five seconds away. Are they diving him? They are. Just... He's still here. Gumushi is at full health. They're still going to go for this dive. Threaded volley is fantastic. Oh They're my god. Kalista versus Talia is he so annoying to play, one. isn't they'll it? Take the How kill. annoying is that? He, no I guess he just has to stand still. Play, but if he tries to dodge place, the Talia E, he's, the W, he stuns himself. Really yeah, Guma tanking aggro there Guma wasn't great. Is the reverse sweep a real reality? Is it a reality? Viper. Okay, hold up. Zeka? Yeah. Charm is going oh, to no flash. This Rek'Sai champ is completely OP. I can't believe it. The Wait, is Rek'Sai dead on 14-7? Really really doesn't matter anyway. MSI is 14-8 and all the playoffs are 14-6. Like, doesn't even matter. This champ's going to be so strong until kind of finals. Oh, well, Faker's is maybe uh, dead. Is gonna connect on to here, but the Weaver's Wall is going to come on down. Faker does get out of the way of the rocks, but he's just going to get taken out. The flash was already used. Oh, Guma Susi, that positioning. Oh, my God. No cleanse against Varus. It's four kills or what? I'm alive, just got four kills. Back does take down the Varus, but the threaded volleys are chasing the Ow! Still the Help! One, not going to connect. Uh, he's completely stuck. In. Um, um, okay, I'm not sure. Him. Zeus POV, and cat despair. Peanut delight, baby. Kill, so They're frying. The that was a screen. horror fight. More or less what a horror. I think they should just maybe let Faker die here. But it's Gumayushi's positioning that's really weird. Like, look at him. He just runs into them. Is that two Drakes they have now or one? Yo, yo, yo. Go back to life. They have no Kalista ult, no Rumble ult, and Dora and STP. It's a horror T1. Oh, what? They got one. Keeping himself alive for so long, but will finally go down. And it's a two for one again here for Harmer Life Esports. But Faker closing in. Please be careful for the hook, Faker. Oh, yo, yo. Like a balloon. Delight has been a god today. And that's oh, Kamushi failed his E. He E too early. Oh, T1 are inting. Oh, Faker can't chase that. If he had ult to ult the Q, then it's fine. But Faker ran into him, man. Faker! But a kill peanut. Guma could heal Carrier here, but maybe he could heal Carrier so he can trade one for one, but it doesn't matter. But Faker's chasing without ult or flash. If he can flash the hook and charm him, I don't know. He's just walking into him. Their bot lane is 2 and 8. What the hell? Are they going again? They have Kalistil to Varisold now. Yeah, this might be a really stupid question, but has this T1 roster ever been 3-0'd before by a team that isn't Gen G? They haven't, right? I think they've only ever been 3-0'd by Gen G in finals. That's it. That's crazy if they get 3-0'd here. But I guess this is Gen G. Bro, what is Doran's peanut, Doran Peanuts win rate against T1? Like, well, what is happening? And the lights, yeah, I guess. And the lights. All right, here comes the Herald fight. It's kind of gone already. Arias nulled. Yeah, T1. Oh, they could. They could try and play. Yeah, maybe they have to fight this Drake. But their Kalista is playing lethality. Look, Kalista items. It's lethality, Kalista. Uh, I think their damage is really odd. With lethality, Kalista. I was gonna say maybe they could go for Baron, but. This guy doesn't have blade. Hunting for Carrier is now the flash forward from Delight. Oh, He's just gonna press boy. the R button on the Gumiyushi. And the Weaver's Wall is going to get the flash out. God, the damage from Rumble and Kalista flash. Oh, uh, Rumble, uh, Rumble ult and Kalista flash. Well, they lost Rumble and flash as well now. Ah, uh, this dragon's gone, guys. It's in, it's unfightable. Chat, if you're a T1 fan, I would mute Dom on Twitter. You know he's gonna fucking blast. 
and Hummer are just moving into their jungle. Okay, there's a seismic shove onto this. There you see, does try dead. to get on top of Viper, but he's just not oi, oi, oi. no execution available. Can you blame draft? Nah, no, you can't blame draft anymore. This is just so there T1 is no getting outperformed. To be had. And man, Hummer Life Esports came to play today, and you can just feel the desperation oh, out of T1. One as the Q connecting, Carrier just gonna get T1's wiped just making so many Zeka silly mistakes. Kalea, their comp is really good at fighting, but. One of the champions they're just taking so many bad fights. I don't know what they're doing. Pick, and it's once again you can blame Draft a bit for the first two games, but... So yeah, I think that well, T1's just a bit dizzy. I don't know what they're doing today. So How am I the lawyer? I'm saying that they're playing bad. What am I supposed to say? What am I? You call me the lawyer, but you guys are fucking the attacking lawyer on every team, no matter who it is. Insert team name, Keck. That's your fucking prosecution. That's what you do. The judge does this. Prosecution, please display your evidence. And all you put is team name Keck. That's it. Alright, here comes the last fight, maybe. Yeah, Tion have damage. It's done. Oh, owner just full sent it. Zeus got two. Rexai healing. <laughs> Zeus POV cat despair wake my team. Where are they at? The old team. Guys. Nice. Oh, my tunnel! <laughs> Man, T1's bot lane got blasted today. What the hell? T1 versus Damon next. Damn. Winner goes through, loser is out. That's gonna be a complete mega banger. Yo, ha Damon might have a really good chance, you know? Damon might have a mega good chance. They almost beat Gen G. And T1 don't look that good. I don't know what happened to T1. They were really good through the regular season, and then the last couple weeks they started to fall off a bit. Boy, Doran. Going to go down, but Wait, hold up. should follow suit. Zayas gets Where's back Faker's TP at? Oh, he's getting bot here too. But I do feel right, bad for all the Korean pro players well. right now. Everyone's being him. DDoSed. Really T1's being DDoSed, Gen G's being DDoSed. Ends up I don't know, is it just T1 and Gen G being DDoSed yet? Yeah, they might be able to now. Okay, there's an interruption on Zayas. Uh, yeah, T1 and Gen G are being spam DDoS. They can't even yeah, play solo queue. Which I do think is probably hurting their performance a bit. I'm sure Chobi's probably Zayas. fucking pissed he can't play the game. Q's up gets into it. Q's up gets DDoS. Well, the Ari damage is kind of high. Oh, seven owner. Nope. So a bit greedy from Hamon Life, they need to back. In position, but they do want to back away. And since you what do you mean, your honor? It's the DDoS. It. I didn't say that! Okay. Well. Can I Charm Flash into the cleanse. Into the well. will kill and Viper. Wait, hold up. Wait, hold up. Wait, Wait, hold up. Wait, Well! Run from Aatrox, run! Well, 4 for 4 is not bad, I guess. Holy fuck, that Aatrox is a god. Lore accurate, finally. Bro, what has Zeus got set up here? Rat tunnel system? Hey, yo, Doran does it! Zeus did the tower! I swear he was going towards the tower. Why did he turn around? You think, you think he misclicked you think he misclicked the sub the subway? Zeus actually playing subway surfers. Yeah, true. Oh my God, Doran! Very well, T1. See you next. See you next series against Damon. Which I think is this weekend. Wow, T1 got three odds, really? Their bot lane went 4-16 this game. You don't want to play against Damon in the lower bracket. Damon are good. T1 might finish fourth. That's crazy.